we are going to talk about uh, MPU 6050 with LPC 2148 and uh, this is the code for uh, MPU 6050 and uh, this is Keel version 5 we are using to generate uh, hex file for LPC 2148. So let's uh, get into the code of it. I shall tell you the overview of the code and uh, this is the main function here and uh, this is a variable a 16 bit variable and next is double these are the variables to acquire the data they have taken a character array uh, of 14 elements and the resultant array of 100 elements you want zero initialization is a function call why are we using this is anyhow we are going to collect information from the Cairo MPU 6050 and uh, we want to display it somewhere so we are using a UART protocol taking the data and going to display on the putty terminal so I'll, I'll brief you about uh, what is that UART function call and uh, the UART function call is here and pin cell 0 is because every pin of ARM processor is a multifunctional pin so we will have to configure those pins as UART pins so by writing this it will configure RX and TX pin and U0 LCR, U0 DLM, DLL and LCR again is, res is the parameter responsible for baud rate settings so we can go through the data sheet and right now what we are doing is the parameters value that we have put uh, is going to configure the baud rate of UART to be 9600 let's go back to the main function I2C initialization so this is where we are going to talk to the gyro and MPU 6050 has gyros, accelerometer and a temperature sensor so we can collect all of the data. our program is going to collect all of the data from it I2C initialization is this uh, this is again uh, every each pin of the microprocessor is multifunctional so you will have to write the pin cell register and configure SCL and SDA so all the serial protocols say UART, SPI and I2C will have something called a speed so for UART it was baud rate and for I2C now it is I2C bit frequency so to calculate that bit frequency SCLL and SCLH values are responsible to put the bit frequency for I2C protocol okay. so let's go back to the main function here we have MPU initialization so here is the functions definition so we have different we have different registers and these are the registers address that are available 1a 1b 1c we are basically customizing uh, the parameters of MPU 6050 and uh, so where all we find zeros these are the default values of those registers we are going to use only 0 cross 38, 0 cross 6b, 0 cross 19 and 0 cross 1a. She will be explaining you about what are this register is about. 0 cross 6b. Uh, 0 cross 6b is for your power management and it's the value we have set is 0 cross 0 p, which means we are selecting your PLN with the gyro reference as y axis. Then you have got 0 cross 1 9, which is a sample rate divider. 0 cross 0 7 again is the only, it is the data bits that you are using to sample. After that, you have got 0 cross 1 A, which is for configuration, configuring your sensor. 0 cross 1 B will be for your gyroscope, and 0 cross 1 C is for your accelerometer. So these are the default values of it, and 0 cross 3 8. 0 cross 3a is to en enable your interrupts. Okay. Rest all are set for the default values uh, of it and uh, we can also refer the data sheet uh, for the default values what does it mean and let's go back to the main function and this is where the sequence starts. I2C start is not doing anything they are uh, starting the communication protocol 
by this SDL line will be pulled from high to low and the transmission process started mm -hmm. and we want to write it first so write at MPU write address is given as a macro on the top of the code and uh, I to see write this is going to write to MPU 6050 and I to see write 0 cross 3b says this is the first address from where you will have to get the uh, start reading the data from start writing the data from then again I to see start and the on the earlier part earlier first three lines of this code they have basically writing it to MPU 6050 here we are trying to read it from MPU 6050 Another function call, it is I2C multi-read data and 14, these are the arguments for the function. Let's go and check what is this uh, function about. Uh, yeah, this is the function. And uh, I2C O and set, this is your enabling acknowledgement. I2C, this happens every 8 bits you send. Wait for the ninth bit for the acknowledgement of it. So I to see one said there are different statuses for it. There is a list of status uh, for uh, ARM processor I to see protocol. So zero zero cross zero eight says that I have sent the address. I have received the acknowledgement from it. Okay, and there are different uh, two to three statuses we'll have to go through. And this is what what this function does basically is. Uh, I do see multi read. We had 14 registers here. These are the 14 registers from 6B to 074. And these are the 14 registers that are available. We are trying to collect data from it. So this function is basically trying to read the data one after other from independent registers. Let's get into the function back. Here they are stopping once it is. Uh, collected 14 data, 14 samples have been taken, not 14 samples, but 14 readings of different values has been taken, then after that I2C has been stopped. There are different sensitivities for uh, gyros and the accelerometer. So this value, what we have XA, uh, AX divided by 16384, we are using sensitivity of 2G. Uh, we, you can see illustrated more on the data sheet about uh, there are different sensitivity I can run it at 2G, 4G, 8G or 16G. Uh, for 2G this is the offset value that is 16384 is the offset value for 2G and in the same way uh, for 2G on gyro uh, 131 is the offset value for it. Sprintf is uh, printing it on the serial monitor and uh, we are trying to acquire the data on the putty terminal of it. So UART0 send string, it is sending the result uh, there and this function will send the result. And uh, that's it, UART0 send string slash R and slash N is going to take you to the next line. This is only to make a formation on the result and uh, screen. Okay, so I will also attach the data sheet of uh, MPU 6050 and uh, we will also send a snapshot and the uh, experimented result on the terminal. I will send you a copy of it. Please have a look. Thank you.